Chef Buck here and today we're going to cook up one of my favorite ingredients, canned salmon. I love having this stuff in the kitchen. It's a very versatile, convenient ingredient to have in the cabinet. First things first, we're just going to open the can and if you've never used any kind of canned fish product before, be mentally prepared. It's kind of scary. And this is already cooked. They lop up the fish and they put it in this can and then they, they cook it in the can. So there's a lot of juice in here, which is the natural fish juices. But we're going to go ahead and drain that off first and get rid of our liquid because we're going to make some salmon patties today. But we're going to do that in the oven, kind of make a healthier version of salmon patties because I've been eating a lot of bacon lately. You know, I've been frying up a lot of stuff in the skillet. So I need to take a break from that and have some less fatty ingredients. Now I'm going to go ahead and crumble it up. Now this is just a chunk of fish, you know, it includes the skin, the bones, everything. But the bones are soft, and you can eat those. Let's rummage around in here and find some. Because a lot of times, you know, you'll find a piece of the spine in here that's intact. I usually take the time to brush up each one of those individually. Otherwise, the texture can be a little distracting. You can see how crumbly these bones are. You know, they're extremely edible. Just going ahead and crushing the vertebrae like that will make the, uh, the dish a little more palatable. But we're going to eat all the bones, all the skin, and all the flesh in this dish. To our salmon, we want to add one egg. Now one thing I like to do uh, with salmon when I bake it in the oven, like a lot of times I'll make like some salmon balls, like some salmon nuggets. I'll kind of overcook them in the oven to make some very firm balls that I can use in a variety of dishes. And when I do that, I use two eggs. But for this dish, I'm using one egg because I want my patties to be as soft as they can be and still hold together. Now, since I'm baking them instead of frying them, it's gonna take longer for the patties to solidify. Like if I was just throwing them in a hot skillet, that's what it sounds like. It sort of holds together, you know, a lot easier when you fry it on one side, but because we're baking it, it's not going to hold together that well. So I've got my ingredients chopped up pretty finely. And you don't have to use all of these ingredients, but I would use some because these fresh ingredients are going to add moisture uh, to the patties because they'll dry out a little bit in the oven if you don't add something like this to them. So I got a little bit of onion, I got some bell pepper, and then I got a little bit of garlic. And then I'm also going to add some seasoning in here as well, but you don't have to do this. You know, you could just use these natural ingredients and have the uh, natural fish flavor. But I got a little bit of salt, not a whole lot because there's already salt in the can. Uh, I got some garlic powder and a little bit of paprika. Now we're going to go ahead and get everything mixed together. Give it a squishy squish and get that egg and all those ingredients kind of mixed thoroughly throughout your fish. You're actually going to have a lot of fun doing this. And there's all different kinds of ways. You can do the squishy squish like this, or you can do the punchy punch like this here, or you can even do the massage. I know Camera Girl, she's a big fan of the pokey poke, but I really, I mean, that's basically a waste of time. You know, I definitely go with the squishy squish, but you, you can determine which is your favorite. So we got all these ingredients mixed together well, and I generally get around four patties out of a can. So I'm gonna go ahead, split it in half, and then I'll split each half in half. And so we'll end up with four patties. If you make three patties out of a can, you know, those are good sandwich sizes. You know, if you want to use these for salmon burgers and you want a nice hefty salmon burger. But we're going to make four patties today. So I got me a baking pan, just a little bit of foil, and I'm going to lightly spray it with some oil. So we're going to take our salmon balls and then we're going to just shape them into quick patty shapes, just like little hamburgers. And as you can see, I don't have any large ingredients in here. You know, I chopped everything up nice and fine because when you're baking it in the oven, you know, like I said, if you got large pieces in here, it's going to have a hard time holding together because we want it to be nice and compact. So there's one, two, three, four patties. All right, so we're going to slide our patties into our oven preheated at 400 degrees. We're going to let them bake away for a little bit and then give them a flip. Alrighty, so it's been about 15 minutes and they're looking pretty bueno. So let's go ahead and give them a flippy flip. You can see they're holding together very well. 
but we don't want them to get too dark on uh, one side. That's why we're giving them a turn. But like I said, this is already cooked in the can, so you can't, you know, undercook this. We're just uh, we're just getting it to uh, come together and get a nice color on there. So we'll slide them back in and maybe give them another five minutes, and that'll be it. Beep 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 beep. Boom. So that's it. Oh, almost lost it. Story of my life. But that's it. They're all finito and we can use these any which way we like. You know, we can just whoop, burn our fingers with them. We can put them on a sandwich or we could just put them on a plate with some other things, leftovers. Knead them up like that. Wow, son of a bar. Remember the pan is still hot. You can make like a, a quick kind of mustard sauce. This is really good with a mustard sauce. Sometimes I'll just take like a creamy salad dressing and put it on a plate, like ranch dressing, or top it a little bit with some dressing and then eat it with whatever leftovers I have in the fridge. It's great for a sandwich, you know, if you got a bun. They're kind of heavy and dense. You know, you can use it as a doorstop. You can use them as earmuffs. And uh, you might have a cat come and hump your head. We made these with very little oil. Just lightly spread the foil. Kind of a healthy way to eat salmon out of a can, which is a very healthy ingredient. Still too hot to handle, but I'm handling it. Look at that. Steaming away. And there's lots of flavor in here. You can see the little bell pe pepper flecks in there. Putting the onion and bell pepper and stuff in here is really a good idea because without those ingredients, uh, these cakes will dry out. All righty, we'll do a little taste test. This is the next day. You can see I've had a lot of trauma in my life since yesterday. <laughs> but these make great leftovers. This is a little uh, chilequile sauce. Uh, kind of a pepper sauce. Uh, inspired from our travels in Mexico. I got a little uh, yuca right there. Just throw a little sauce on a plate and dump a salmon cake on there. You know, pair it up with some leftovers. Whatever you got in the fridge, there you have it. It's a complete little meal. You know, if you want to print this one and take a look at some other canned salmon recipes, go over to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes over there. Uh, thanks for giving it a thumbs up and subscribing, and we'll see you in the future.